Hello, it is I, John, the singer from the Mountain Goats. Um, behind me to the right, as many of you are shortly about to comment, <laughs> I suspect, is the computer on which I play uh, Magic the Gathering Arena. It's also the computer where I uh, uh, revise prose. Uh, I, I do my first draft on, on a MacBook and then come over here to this Dell that I brought at the, bought at the uh, outset of lockdown. Uh, it's useful for, for stationing me at a desk to, to work, you know. And then behind me to the left is a bookcase. Uh, with CDs, I, my opera CDs are on top. Um, and I was cleaning the office today, and that got me a better view of some of the books in the bookcase, because normally it's pretty, I mean, it's still not great in here if you saw the rest of it, but no, it's a little better now. And I ran across Sophocles' The Three Theban Plays. Um, those of you who studied classics in college have almost surely seen this, the Robert Fagel's translation. It's, it, for ages, was the standard anyway, um, if you were going to read Antigone. Antigone, like, you read Antigone whether you take classics or not, I think, or it used to be the case. Um, and Oedipus Rex and Oedipus at Colonus, which is one of the greatest things that's ever happened. Um, but anyway, so I ran across it, and I opened it up, because that's what I do when I see a Sophocles on the shelf. I go, oh, hey, my old Sophocles, you know. And there was a, a little handwritten thing in there. Now, I was in college studying uh, Sophocles at Scripps, somewhere between 93 and 95, but it was probably 93 or 94, right? So that's uh, writing Sweden times, writing Sweden, writing nothing for Jews, right? It's that era, right? Um, and uh, and this had five song titles on it and some very pretentious notes on, on how the songs are supposed to be, which is very funny to me because I don't do that anymore, right? I let the songs tell me what to do. But uh, but when you're young and ambitious, you know, you say, well, I'm going to write a song. It's going to have the following title, and this is going to be its vibe, right? And you you know, now it's like, at some point you learn, it's like, no, you're going to write a song, and the song will let you know as it comes into being what kind of song it is, right? I, I think, uh, you know, but but I think it's uh, <laughs> I think it's almost universal that a young songwriter thinks that they're going to dictate the terms of the song to the song, which is absolutely the height of arrogance. Uh, it is pointless, in my opinion. And you can tell which song is like somebody was trying to force an evil vibe onto when it's actually a funny song or whatever. you know. Um, but anyway, I thought I would share with you the, uh, the, the stuff that I found, because it's kind of funny. Um, the five titles on here are uh, These Upright Walking Donkeys, New Suit, Let's Get Savage, T knee, which I say pronounce it like that because it's got two acute accents on the eyes, but I give it a little circumflexive thing because the only T knee I know is is in Thai, right? You T knee, right? I don't know what that would mean elsewhere, but I hadn't studied any Thai at all at this point, um, so I don't know where that would have come from. Maybe it means something in Greek that I don't remember. T knee, right? With with acutes, you can tell me. Um, and Quezon City Rock, I think Quezon City is in the Philippines. Um, and uh, and then there's these notes on how the songs are supposed to be song cycle of nervous skittering trebly little songs. It's so funny to me to to come up with. I mean, it, I mean, I still kind of do this. I'll say, well, what if I just write on piano? But I don't really say how the songs are going to be, you know. Um, but uh, but here's the thing: there's some lyrics at the bottom. There's a verse, um, and one of the things that I was planning on doing before uh, lockdown, and that uh, God willing, in the creek doesn't rise any further than it's already risen. <laughs> uh, I might get back to doing it at some point was a, a bunch of solo shows that I was going to think of as the notebook shows because I have tons of verses that were pretty okay that never got finished or whatever. Um, and I've had this idea to exhume those, you know, actually set aside the time to go through my notebooks, which I never ever do, um, and, uh, and, and find what's usable, right? Try not to fix it too much from the standpoint of current day me right um and see what happens and not make the whole show is that i don't think i have enough so you know that would be usable but you know so that every you know if i were to do like 10 shows then every show would get at least one song that would be exhumed from that that would be the premiere at each show this is my whole idea i have a lot of ideas like this and most of them never come to anything but that was a fun idea and uh and since it was a verse here and i wanted to show you i was gonna like take a picture of it and put it on twitter.com it's a website um uh, but, uh, but I thought it would be more fun to, to make a video. So, um, let me see if I don't have a music stand for this little tent. I'll put it on top of the book and put the book on top of my ankle and hope for the best. Um, let's hear. 
how it small oh no wait that's how it would be if it was about goes now <laughs> let's let's see if we could uh, what would this have sounded like um uh when it was written <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to share that. Um, the tickets for the shows that are coming up are selling so fast, and uh, we're really humbled. And um, uh, it'd be impossible to express the the feeling like when I, I when I think about playing with the guys for you. Uh, I'm overcome by emotion. I can't wait uh, to see you. Please be healthy. Please take care of yourself. We're not entirely out of the woods yet, but times are getting better. You know. Um, yeah. I, I, we we miss you so much. We miss you so much. Okay. If I find anything else like this, I'll report back. Okay, bye.